show I am Tyler Black what is up what's up what is up the Detroit fan base all the Detroit fan base all the Michigan fan base of Michigan Wolverines Michigan State Central Michigan Western Michigan Eastern Michigan all the Michigan high school teams what is up? Yo, what's up? On this Tuesday, November the 1st, 2022, let's get into it. Because I'll be present was fired yesterday by the Lions as the defensive backs coach. Which, in my opinion, is a scapegoat firing just to save Aaron Glenn's ass. That's what that firing was. And like I said, I don't care... About the hate I get from the Lions fan base, because really, I don't care. Because I don't. Like I said, I'm not here to be liked by the fan base. Not here to be liked. I'm here to give you all my honest opinion. My God honest opinion about our Detroit Lions. That's my job. That's my job as a... Soon to be sportscaster. Hopefully a radio host as well. So yeah. That's my job. Is to not sugarcoat anything and give you all my brutal, God honest opinion about our teams. So there you go. Aaron Glenn should have been the one that got fired, not all be present. So, there you go. And Dan Campbell wants to say that that we should have been more physical with Jalen Waddle and Tyree Kill. How are you going to be more physical with Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle? How are you going to be more physical with them? When they're uh, both faster than your secondary, Dan Campbell. How are you going to be more physical with them? Like, seriously. How are you going to try to do bump and run? Against a fast Jalen Waddle and a fast Tyreek Hill. How are you going to do that? You can't. You can't, Dan Campbell. You can't. Another irrelevant statement out of Dan Campbell's mouth at his press conference yesterday. So, yeah. 
See, Aubrey Plaza had to be the first casualty. Had to be the first casualty of this season to get fired. Last season was Anthony Lynn as offense coordinator. This year, it's Aubrey Plaza as a defensive backs coach. Yeah. This is your one mulligan, Aaron Glenn. Here's your one mulligan. This is your one mulligan. Because I guarantee it, you're going to be gone next. So, this is your one mulligan. But you're lucky. You're lucky. You are lucky. So, this is your one mulligan. Um. <clears throat> The Detroit Red Wings lost last night 8 to 3 to Buffalo Sabres. The Pistons lost 110 to 108 to the Bucks last night as well. That uh tunnel that tunnel attack by Michigan State on the two Michigan players were disgusting. Should be that was unacceptable. It was disgusting. And shouldn't even have had it happen. Why take that rivalry and make it violent like that? Yeah. More videos are coming out of the Michigan State attack on Jermon Green and McBarron's. Or McBarrow's. There's a lot more videos coming out. On their attack. Which. Javon Green's lawyer always said that. That all the Michigan State players that were involved. Are going to feel the full wrath. Of the law. And also the Michigan State coaching staff. Is going to feel. The wrath of the law. As far as I'm concerned. This could be the end. Of Mel Tucker's little short little tenure. As Michigan State's head coach. This is what's going to get him fired out of Michigan State. What happened Saturday night. This is what's going to end his tenure at Michigan State. And now that the starting linebacker of Michigan State. He was involved in it too. But he didn't get suspended. He didn't get suspended folks. But he was part of the attack. Yeah, he was part of the attack. But he didn't get suspended. Which is beyond me. It's beyond me, folks. It's, it is. And Mel Tucker, he said he, he apologized for the uh, attacks at the tunnel. No, Mel Tucker, you should have did a better job controlling your players. You should have did a better job with that, but no, you didn't. You didn't do a better job. So, it's disgusting. Saying that they're going to be able to still have their scholarships during the suspension. It's beyond me. It's, it's, it's not proven anything. It's not proven anything to us that they're going to keep their scholarships. They should be suspended without any of that. Until the investigation is over. And then when criminal charges is brought up. They ain't going to play again at Michigan State. Those players. They're never going to play again. Because the crimes they committed. Hitting Simon Green in the head with a, with a helmet. Hitting him in the shoulder. Hitting him in the back. Causing him to have a concussion. Cause another Michigan player to have a broken nose. It's it's disgusting. It's disgusting, folks. And anyone that wants to support Michigan State after this is just as disgusting as they are. I'm sorry. I am sorry. This this is this is disgusting what Michigan State did. It is. Now being labeled, Mel Tucker being labeled potentially as a as a coach that's turning his players into thugs. Yeah. 
What culture are you trying to build at Michigan State, Mel Tucker? Because I don't see no culture being built there. All I'm seeing is a bunch of thugs. A bunch of thug players. That's what I'm seeing. That's what your culture is. Your culture is a bunch of players that want to be like thugs. That ain't no culture. That ain't nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. It's sickening. It is sickening. And like I said, this is going to be the end of Mel Tucker's tenure at Michigan State. And I, I, I'm probably, and you know, we're probably going to respect maybe a bowl ban for Michigan State. Maybe a loss of scholarships, maybe. These players are going to have criminal charges against them. They're probably going to get charged with felonies. They're going to probably end up going doing prison time. So, yeah, it's what's going to happen. It's what's going to happen. It's sickening, folks. It's sickening. And I've been a I've been a Michigan fan since the nineties. It's it's sad. Um it's it's disgusting, folks. And they wanna complain about the tunnel. That we need to change the tunnel. Yeah. Beyond me, folks, beyond me. Yeah, that's beyond me. <clears throat> and trading uh, TJ Hawkinson today to the Minnesota Vikings, which is going to cost us more in dead cap space. Yeah. But yeah, trade our best tight end. To a division rival. Yeah. Yeah. Let that sink in, Lion fan base. Let that sink in. Let it sink in. Our Detroit Lions sent our best tight end to a division rival in Minnesota Vikings. Let that sink in. Even though we got a 2023 second round draft pick. A 2024 third round pick, a 2023 fourth round pick, and a 2024 conditional fourth round pick. Let that sink in, though. Let that sink in. You guys let me know in the comment section. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts of TJ Hawkinson being traded to the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah. It's beyond me, folks. Bear Sanders gonna be the first Lions, uh the first Lions player slash Hall of Famer to get a statue outside Fort Field, which uh congratulations to Barry Sanders. He is well deserved of that. So congrats to Barry. <laughs> congrats to Barry. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is going to be good. McBaron's mother, Carrie Bryant, spoke about her son's attack by Michigan State. Um, she said, in quotes, 
Who would expect at a rivalry game with police officers to not protect these kids? Uh, Brian said. At a big game like this, who would have ever expected this? No one would have or could have ever expected something like this happening. Even Wolverine and Spartan fans with the wildest imaginations could have visualized a scene like the one that occurred at Michigan Stadium Tunnel this past Saturday night. And as Brian alluded to the family on McBarrow's, they are still attempting to piece everything together. Not only that, but the Wolverine defender is still in need of medical attention from the injuries sustained at the hands of the Michigan State football players. He's currently being treated for a broken nose. Um, as doctors continue to examine his face, it's unclear if McBarron will pursue legal action, but his teammate, Jamon Green, has. If I was McBarron's, I would pursue legal action, too. I would. No doubter. No doubter. Go pursue legal action. Because that's not acceptable what Michigan State did. And they all need to be punished for their crimes. That they need to be punished for what they did. So, yeah. And it's disgusting, so... And I hope the Big Ten does the right thing, too. The Big Ten Conference. Do what they have to do to Michigan State to be penalized. Because it's disgusting. And you do their jobs. Do their jobs and penalize Michigan State. Do your jobs. Because if you... If Michigan State ain't punished for this, then that proves that you did not do your jobs. That you're just going to let Michigan State get away with it. Do your jobs and penalize Michigan State for their crimes. Period. That was very good. <laughs> So McBarrens hasn't even, he hasn't even been, uh, he's being looked at for a broken nose. <laughs> so, do your jobs, folks, do your jobs. <laughs> oh, nice. A half and half. I know. Half and happy. Happy, happy. Do don't want a lotion. <laughs> happy, happy. Huh? Oh, thanks. Ouch. Hey, I got you a knife. Good. Body lock. Good. I'll go put the put one in your bathroom on mine. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And those over there are... I know. ...fantastic foam. Uh-huh. That when it rings, and the ringer turns purple. Oh, okay. Every time the phone rings, it turns purple. <laughs> you might ask me if there's any uh, bar soap over there. I not, so they're empty over there. Yeah, they are empty over there. I'm just going to set this up out of your sink. That's fine. I'll, I'll put it up when I go back in there. <laughs> yep, here's the video showing of Jacob E. Winman, one of the starting linebackers. One of the starting linebackers for Michigan State. Yeah. Okay. You're fine. So, Mr. So, the starting, the starting linebacker slash defensive end, Mr. Jacob, Jacob B. Winman, 
was seen putting his helmet back on and then took it off to hit Green with his helmet. Hit him. That's what his fucking ass is hit. Yeah, but he wasn't suspended. Yeah, well, he should have got suspended. I should have. He's going to get charged. The mm -hmm. video clearly shows. Oh, yeah, there's lots of videos. There's lots of videos. Yeah, because Green suffered concussion and other injuries. Green ain't going to be playing Chargers in the night for New Jersey against mm -hmm. Rutgers. Oh, no, no. Oh. Well, that's all I do to Michigan State, dummies. Michigan State, they're hit. Uh huh. They were the players were suspended indefinitely. Yeah, you could suspend them indefinitely, but they ain't gonna ever play again for Michigan State. They ain't ever gonna play for you all again, cause Mel Tucker, like I said, you're gonna end up getting fired. So, you gotta end up getting fired. So, now you need to do the right thing, Mel Tucker, and uh, and call. Yeah, and uh, please give Jim Harbaugh a call on the phone. Give him a call on the phone. I need to. I need to call him on the phone. <laughs> Be a man. Call him on the phone. <laughs> Everyone on that coastal staff, Mr. State, needs to be fired. Yep. <laughs> Be like thugs, okay. It would have been all prevented if Mel Tucker would have been out there and told his boys in the locker room. Yeah, that would have been prevented, but no. That didn't happen. Nope. So, got to do your jobs, folks. Do your jobs. And we got the second week of the playoffs this week for Michigan High School football. That's right. We do. We do. We got second week of Michigan High School football playoffs. So. <laughs> so we got we got <clears throat> So Friday night we got Wackford hosting Cadonia. We got East Lansing hosting Port Lidge Northern, Midland hosting Waterford Mott, Dexter hosting South Lyon, Livonia Franklin hosting Temperance Bedford, at yeah, Bedford. <laughs> now the Decompton's got to go travel to Riverview. <laughs> So, Clinton hosting E-Course. Should be a good game, that one. Hudson traveling to Jackson, Lumen Christie, Manchester, and Napoleon. Um, Beer City hosted Fowler. Um, I was looking at these big-time matchups. Yeah, there's a lot of big-time matchups, so. Yeah, a lot of. A lot of big time matchup, folks. Lots. So, 
Yeah. Raw took place last night. Yeah. Monday Night Raw. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> um. Dang it. I'm saying get an Uzi on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, while well, it took place with the. Uh... Yeah. What happened to Raw was uh, damage control lost their women. Tag team titles to Alexa Bliss in Asuka. Yeah. Yeah, that was a big time win for Alexa Bliss and uh, Asuka. So, Bianca Belair beat Nikki Cross. Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley came face to face and got into a brawl. Seth Rollins beats uh, Austin Theory. Not a surprise there. Woman Reigns, Superman punching Miz in the mouth. Yeah. Carl Anderson beating Damian Priest. We get freaking Baron Corbin with JBL. Ended up with the R2 coming out. And end up getting the end of days with Baron Corbin. Mad Widow beats Otis in the Trick or Street fight. Yep. Stop Folly beating The Miz. John Gargano gives his tell-all interview about Dexter Loomis and The Miz. And that was pretty much raw last night. Pretty much what it was. Because uh, Saturday they will be in Saudi Arabia for a crown jewel. Which is uh, 12 o'clock the pre show and 1 o'clock Crown Jewel event on Peacock. So, yeah. So, there you go. That's pretty much how that is. So, if you guys like what you watched, please hit that like button and subscribe to Tyler Lee Black YouTube channel. Follow Tyler Lee Black Twitch channel. At twitch.tv slash Tally Black. Also, doomsdayinternational.com is our website for everything you need to know about what we do. Go check out doomsdayinternational.com for all your info. Donation link streamlabs.com slash Tyler Black 218. Follow me on Twitter at BeastBlack1991. Also, if you want any of our merchandise, go to www.storefrontier.com slash Doomsday International for all your merchandise that we offer you guys. Yeah. And support us. Thank you all very much. Also, we are a big part of Lions Nation United app. Go download the app. It's called Lions Nation Unite. You have a lot of us Detroit Lion fans in there. A lot of Detroit Lion content creators. Yeah. You got Herman Moore in there. The guy who started the app. Herman Moore. Yeah, you got a lot of us in there. So, LionsNationUnite.com. Go over to their store. Buy Lion Nation Unite gear. Yeah, go check that out as well. We spec the war, folks. We spec the war. Yeah. And the only way to do that, to respect the war, is to respect it. So, this was another great edition of the TLB show. I'm Tyler Black. We'll see you next time. Have a great day, and peace out.
Tell me what you got going on just a little later on tonight. How about you and me get together, have a couple drinks? Well, don't you think that sounds like a good Stop staring And I can tell that you're feeling it too What you want to do With that smile you're wearing Oh yeah and What you say we get lost Let's go Spend a couple hours just getting to know each other Out there in the moonlight glow And when we get alone You start sliding on Drink it up until it's gone This is what we're waiting